Here we bring, welcome to my beer library where I do beer reviews, a beer vlog, I also brew beer. So make sure you check out those videos. I have everything uh, kind of listed in play uh, playlist order. So today we're gonna be trying Blake's Hard Cider Company's El Chavo. This is a, hab a mango habanero um, from our backyard since 1946, all natural, gluten-free, that's pretty cool. Six point five, six point pot. 6.5% alcohol volume. Um, it says the perfect amount of sweet and heat. El Chavo is made with mangoes and homegrown habaneros from our farm. <laughs> habaneros just sound so spicy. Um, Blake's Hard Cider is one of Michigan's first craft cideries, offering an adventure exploration of all things cider. Our 800-acre family-owned farm in Armada, Michigan. We grow, harvest, and press and ferment our own apples. We're proud to introduce a truly uncompromised hard um, cider. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Really cool-looking farm. That's a little picture. This is the box. Schnazzy marketing. So let's give this a go here. And it even has like a little rip, a little scale, dry to sweet, um, about towards sweet on the scale. I should have showed you that. Bam. There's a little scale. Bold and sweet with a little heat. Well, I'll be the judge of a little. I'm not a fan of uh, spicy stuff. You know, I'm a redneck, so. It, you can smell the heat in there. It's a typical um, cider-ish color there. Looks like dirty urine. Uh, let's give it a go here. I think it's gonna be spicy. It is. It's very spicy. Um, you can taste the apples actually. It tastes like apple juice that somebody um, put pepper, like cayenne pepper in or something. Ooh. It's got a kick to it, I tell you that. That's pretty cool. It's a unique drink. Because it's not so spicy that I don't want to stop drinking it. But it is spicy enough to where you can feel it. And the one thing too, the carbonation is popping the bubbles like up into your nose. So that's pretty snazzy. Wow. It's really tasty, crisp, very good. So we're gonna put this in the flavored um, cider category. Zero being the worst, 100 being the best. We're gonna put this at a score of 93. Very high score for me if you've watched my other videos. I'm very harsh because I do brew my own stuff. But I don't think I could brew something because I have done ciders in the past. If you watch my videos, I have made a few ciders. And my ciders, like people have called them the champagne of ciders. One person said it. So, um, but this is pretty dang good. I don't think, I can't even replicate that. I would try to, I would try to repli replicate that. And it would either taste like dog poo that had hot sauce in it or it would just taste like regular cider. Um, so hats off to you, very good, good job. These are pretty hard to find. Somebody recommended this to me, uh, my buddy Mark, and uh, or Moat, and um, it took us forever to find it. And then like a month later, we found it, finally found it. So um, if you're gonna be looking for these, you know, get out there looking now, but they're pretty good and uh, 
and I live in Ohio. This is a Michigan thing. So um, that's pretty snazzy. So very good. Good suggestion. Uh, I do love it when people suggest that I try stuff because I will try it. You know, that's part of this channel is, uh, is you know, trying different stuff. So very good. Try something you never had before, like I just did. Cheers.